The latest gender debate hit the political stage on Capitol Hill this week. Texas Senator Ted Cruz was sparring with human rights campaign president Kelly Robinson during a Senate hearing discussing LGBTQ plus rights and transgender athletes when he asked her a seemingly straightforward question. I'm just asking, is there a difference between women and men? I mean, what I can say here is that the NCAA has rules in place. They've had rules in place for the last decade. And when this competition okay, happened, I'm, I'm gonna try again. the rules were clear. It's not a hard question. Is there a difference between women and men? Cruz asked the question again. This competition okay, okay, I'm, I'm going to try again. The rules were clear. Do you believe there's a difference between women and men? It, it's a yes-no question. It is, it, do you believe there's a difference? Oh, I think that we're talking about this case with the NCAA. No, I'm asking. There's a difference. And he asked it again. No, I'm asking a question. Do you believe there's a difference between women and men? Most people could answer this very simply. I'm curious if you're willing to do so. Oh, absolutely. I'm just putting it into the context of the conversation that, yes? that we're having. I think that there are definitions related to is, sex. Is, is that a yes? Yeah. So I'm trying to get. Yes or no? I'm not trying to get, get a speech. Oh, I, is I'm, there a difference between women and men? I think that there are definitions for biological sex. Okay, so you're not answering that. Let me gender. ask you this. <sighs> He'd asked the question five times. Each time, Robinson dodged the answer. Now, clearly frustrated, Cruz pivoted, asking it another way. Why do women's sports exist? If you can't define a difference between women and men, why not abolish women's sports and just tell little girls to swim with little boys and see who wins? Oh, I'm simply saying that um, that sex is My different question, than gender. Why and I do, do believe why that women's, women's sports, sports have a great exist? value. I mean, Senator, I'll M tell you right Ms. now. Ms. Robinson, please answer the question I'm asking you. Absolutely. Why do women's sports exist? I think that there are so many positive benefits to sports. But I mean, why have a separate category for women? If, if, you, if there's no difference between women and men, why to have women's sports? I'm saying that there's a difference between sex and gender and that the NCAA has rules in place, which they have for the so last Mr. decade. Mr. Chairman, I, I would that like to enter the to record. An, an... That wasn't a question. He simply asked her, is there a difference between men and women, which there is. But it's a question that somehow the far left has managed to make a controversial one. Admitting that men and women or, are different doesn't make you transphobic. Nor does it make you bigoted to believe that transgender women shouldn't be permitted to compete in women's sports. But most importantly, Robinson is doing her cause and the cause of the transgender community a disservice with her insane word salads and unwillingness to answer a very obvious question. And if the question is actually not an easy one for her to answer, well, then that is an even bigger problem. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.